What's going on, YouTube? Clayky's all back again with another My Hero Academia, the strongest hero video. In my past video, everything I just said in that past video I was upset with, we got some changes coming in. Coming in next week, I want to talk about all the big changes coming to the stamina system and the hero coins. I'm super excited. Let's get into it. So guys, just after I complained about no communication, they don't seem like they care about the community uh, as far as like communication wise or fixing some of the things in the game, they punch me right in the mouth and say, click, shut the hell up. Because here you go. As you can see on the screen, this is an official tweet from the My Hero Academia Global NA version. Because then I was even complaining they weren't doing anything and they come out and do this the same day to make my video obsolete. But I'll take that for these changes. They're saying, thank you for support of MHA during our launch month. We really appreciate your feedback over the past week. And here are some changes that are coming next week. So next week is when we're going to see these changes. Also, as a thank you for our huge launch, special gifts will arrive with our server update plus ultra and I can, as you can see we have Ida here and it says increase stamina gain from in-game systems thank you lord and then increase hero coins from daily missions so it seems like they're going to be pumping more hero coins into us which is a fantastic from the daily missions that we're going to be doing throughout the day i don't know what that's going to equal out to or how big that's going to be but that's just going to add more stuff for free to play and dolphins you know to keep up with the wells or at least have more fun in the game the stamina system being changed is incredible now again these could be smaller changes i'm not saying this is going to change the game everybody's going to have a million stamina a million hero coins summoned for everything but the fact of the matter is they did listen to the things we complained about and they're going in and changing them so from you guys complaining different content creators like seed and myself vulcan i'm sure there are a ton more we were all out there telling the devs i kept writing to the devs saying you know this this and this or i made a video or you guys send in your feedback every day it really helped push the devs to understand what we want in the global in a eu australian release whatever country you're in that you're playing this game and the increased stamina from in-game systems is amazing now i'm not sure if that means we're going to get you know more if we look here in the game i don't know if that means we're going to get more from daily missions maybe some side quests they can literally put it in a lot of places they can also put it in the shop here uh, in the mall maybe they can put some uh you know energy refills in maybe your alliance shop they could put it in the battle shop you know the buff shop uh, more i mean look at me I, I haven't spent anything but this first one i'm still saving up and i spent and got more of these you know because i spent and got top up bonus and i'm still waiting to get this furniture buff you know but they could put it in a lot of places event shop they could even put it in here so maybe if you wanted to buy energy the point is that is something great that they could be adding into the game they could also add a new currency maybe you can get from daily uh grinding weekly grinding the uh, make an arena shop something that also contains these items and the items i'm talking about if you guys didn't know are going to be these 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 like pez chiclet looking dispensers they could put these for sale for some kind of currency in the game that you can earn free to play is what i mean and then you slowly accumulate that and get that they also can make it gift rewards from like uh uh, excuse me, from like alliance things in the game. There's, this is endless, right? And from rewards from events, uh, kind of like the puzzle we just had. I think in the puzzle, every one of those rewards should have had a li little bit of stamina inside of it. I think that's something they could do big time. And it wouldn't, I don't think it would affect their bottom line too much to give us more stamina. It just means more people are playing the game, more people are being happy, so forth and so on. Now, when it says increase coins from daily missions, I don't know where they're going to be putting the coins, so I can't even fathom the idea of that. Uh, you know, obviously we have a lot of daily missions daily targets here they could be adding coins to each of these maybe and make it like five or you know i don't know how what they're going to do exactly here um there are a ton of different things you guys do daily in the game where you get uh rewards kind of like the bakugo event going on you do get every day if you fill this out you get 20 here they could be adding them uh all over the place for you guys to grab up they also haven't talked again about the um so we do have the weekend carnival but the gift pack exchange code they haven't given us a code for this yet so it's just different places they could be good at putting stuff because i do enjoy getting on the game like i talked about in my last video and it's great to see they're making these changes because these are the changes you guys fought for we fought for and the ones we thought needed the most change currently now again once they change this maybe they need to tweak it a little bit we'll have to wait and see and that says it's coming next week it also states okay it also states we're going to be getting special gifts coming up with our server update 
and that's for the big launch. They said they're going to give us a bunch of gifts. So I'm assuming this is like a thank you guys so much. I, we hear all the negativity. We understand that, you know, we messed up a little bit. Here's a little something, something to make it a little bit more sweet. And I don't know what that's going to be from hero coins to stamina to summoning tickets. I kind of want all three of those. You know, I want a lot of stamina. I want some summon, uh, some hero coins and then maybe some summoning tickets for ourselves to go in as well. Uh, and then, you know, just, just give us some good stuff to go in uh, and, and play around with. You know, the options are limitless for them. They can really give us whatever they want. Uh, we don't know exactly what's going to happen, but it's an exciting time to see this update coming uh, and to see what else they put in the game because there is a, a, a change coming on. If we go over here and take a look at the All Might banner, it will be ending soonish. It's going to be ending on the 9th. Uh, for my server, again, these, ser these servers all different, right? All different times. You guys have learned that if you're on a later server, your server is going to be a little bit different. Um, but, you know, on the 9th, things are changing up a bit, so that could be the next week. So who knows if it's going to be Sugar Rocky stained. I think it's going to be stained personally, or Endeavor, or whoever they're going to release. We could be seeing the next hero already. Uh, I think it's going to be a monthly thing, so maybe, the, like, uh, All Might was, like, for May, uh, and then maybe the next one will be for uh, June, and then we'll have another hero come out in July. Because I don't think this game is the type of game where you release a hero every week or every two weeks, like in a lot of our gacha games. This game more seems to me like a slow drip. You get your new hero, and you can do a ton with them, learn about them, use them in arena, and have fun. So maybe the next hero comes out with this update as well. I can't be for sure. Uh, but if so, I know a lot of you guys are hurting in your hero coins. At least we get the update here to tell us, hey... You know, we got a little, bit, a little bit more hero coins coming on. So, again, I would love to hear from you guys. I read your comments. I know a lot of the time, maybe sometimes I disagree with you, but I'm always trying to do it in a civil way, talk to you guys. I love talking about this game. So I have my Discord. We're always talking to my Discord. Um, just getting your opinion. You know, I, just because you have a different opinion than me in this game doesn't mean I don't want to hear it. I want to hear it. I want to learn from you guys. Like, for example, I hear a lot of you guys are like, you dumbass. If you go look at the boss rate and click the question mark. Oh, wait, you got to go to rankings first, idiot. And you click the question mark, you see the ranking thing. Things. I get that. I know I missed that. I understand. And, and and more to my point is you have to go through all these loopholes just to see the rewards. In the mock in the mock contest, it said rank and it had the rewards right next to it for top 10. And it looks like, and again, it's not, I, I'm not saying they're doing it on purpose, like, ha ha ha, they'll never see their rewards now. Uh, but I'm saying, like, they could make it easier like they did with the mock draft. And that's kind of what I want. I want, a lot of these menus are, they're nice looking, but they're not exactly user friendly. So that's something to look for as well. And I just want to let you guys know another thing. I got the super co-op. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. Anyway, I got number one in this earlier today. I don't care what these rankings show. I got number one and I was super happy about it. I took a picture, showed my mom. It was awesome. You can, uh, I got the title and everything for it, so, uh, yeah, so that was a pretty big moment for me that I actually beat the number one guy and got the number one Invincible for a minute, so, and if you guys look here, again, I've talked about this, so speaking of hero coins, you will eventually make your way up here, one day, you're gonna start making your way up, it's a buttload of coins, you guys wonder how I got all my coins, yes, I spent money, but I went through here, one time I went from extreme one to, like, summit one, in one go, I fought, like, one dude, I swear to god, I went through the whole thing, it gave me 3,000 coins instantly, it was insane. Now, yes, you have to be super powerful. Yes, it's a Wells game getting through this stuff. But eventually, you're going to grind enough to get up through here. So look for coins in here as well. But that was an insane day for me. Uh, <laughs> I kind of lost my mind. He's in my defense. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm getting beat up a little bit. Anyway, I've got to get off topic here. I just, I just love talking about the game. Do I have any summons I can do for you guys real quick to make this a little bit more worth it? All right, dude. We can do a tent pull here. Oh. Wait a minute. Hold on. Can I do two tin pulls? Is it worth it? Dude, we're getting more hero coins. We might as well do it for the video, make you guys happy. All right, we're going to do a tin pull here, and I'm going to pay for the 500 coins. And what we're hoping for is Todoroki, because I don't have him, okay? <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. We'll end this video off with a big bang and hope for the best. Show me that yellow. Oh, my God. Todoroki. Oh, Bakugo dupe. I'll take it, baby. Bakugo dupe. Dude, I am... I am never pulling lessons on a video with you guys. You guys give me insane luck. Now, let's see if we can keep it going, all right? Let's see if we can get a little bit of something, something here. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and no, I'm not... I'm not picking... Uh, maybe I should. Maybe you guys... Maybe I'm being a little bit uh, too overzealous here. Maybe I should be picking one of these. Maybe I'll go with... Um, Let's go here. Let's let's try to get one of his cards. We'll we'll rate that up. All right. All right. Let's see. Can we get lucky again? Can we see that beautiful yellow spark? Oh my goodness. Nope. It couldn't be back to back. It could not be. Hey, listen. It's still cool that I got a Bakugo dupe. Anyway, guys, I'm super pumped about this. You guys have no idea. It shows a little bit of initiative from the devs, and I hope you guys are too. Obviously, it's not gonna fix everything for you guys. Comment down below. Seriously, I want to have a conversation with you. Anyway. 
So, uh, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below how you feel. I just said that. I'm saying it again. Subscribe for future content, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.